October 1944. I began military service tomorrow, standing by with the school. I was too excited and anxious to sleep last night. <laughs> yeah, we're going for a spin right now. God damn it. Get it going for uh. a spin. It is, this is, this is absolutely the roughest kind of game for uh, people who, anyway, yeah, like, <laughs> if you're obsessively doing my plot gun thing, where you just, like a Pat style, just like, always, 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 always try to figure it out, and like, it's being served to you one bite at a time, the meal is being brought out to you one bite at a time, dude. God damn, that's crazy. Takatoshi san. A brand new schoolhouse with all its luxuries. And not a single student attending. They need every able bodied student at the factories. I know, we're in a state of emergency. Just a shame that it's come to this, I suppose. A full yeah. uniform. He's a year above me, but we're the same age. We grew up in the same town together. He was such a mess. Huh. Seems like he's shaped up, though. He's found a certain dignity ever since he enlisted. That's we're not poor. true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess at that that's, time, that's it was literally true. not true. It was true. How is that true? Because they said that he was a shit before, and then he enlisted, and then he got better. And then he moved to the future, and then it got worse. We grew up in the same town together. Which part are you saying that it's not true? Are we, you ta I'm we, talking about the dignity part. I'm talking about the growing up in the okay, same Okay, then town. we're talking about different things. That's okay, fine. All right, all right. That's so, fine. We grew up in the same town together. That's not true, right? He's from space! <laughs> from the colonies! Well, it depends which came first. It depends which came first. But so, okay. that's an assumption. Yes, it is. Right, but the dignity part seems to be true. Yeah, I don't care about the dignity part. I'm not talking about that. <laughs> well, your assumption is an assumption. Yes, but here's why I'm saying that this it's is striking. True. Yeah. Because we don't know if that was the past or the future, mm -hmm. but I likely assume it's the past based on the fact that... Uh, sh uh, what's her name? Um, uh, Megumi? Uh, did I get that wrong? The runner. The runner, Natsuno. Natsumi. Has That's a completely no. different personality. Right? Yeah, okay. Total different personality. Which means that, like, that version of her that we get is probably a wiped version. Seems likely. Possibly. Right? Whatever. Here's my point. I'm just saying that this, I, this line here reminds me of the other two that were like, they're childhood friends. Yeah. And it's like, well, are they? Or is that not real? Mm. <laughs> Is anyone a childhood friend? Because you use childhood friends as a way of alibying yeah. someone. Yeah, we were really cool. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. They I grew up him. together. Yeah. Says the game. But that line is making me fucking sus <laughs> of this of, of of whether I can trust it based on the previous scene we just saw. Okay. Am I overthinking? Probably, but this is how I play my video games. I heard a rumor from the Marines at the port. They say we have no ships left. It's only over. It's a hopeless war. It's only overthinking if it doesn't come to fruition. <laughs> if it turns out to be dead on, then, then it's you're like, a genius. Oh shit, you nailed it. Yeah. Good job, Death Note. Look at all these broken <laughs> nails, <laughs> bent up. You know, <laughs> you either nail it or you're overthinking. But this is—it's two parts of the same coin. Building a dog house like like a dog house like Homer Simpson over there. Creating a <laughs> creating a fucking light Yagami esque plot with 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 l and 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 turning out to be completely off well it was possible what's wrong Kitaro? you resent being drafted also i'm a little bit scared of stopping to think these days because i'm scared of the guys walking away <laughs> wow okay yeah i'm scared of people walking away when i stop to think uh, i i i that that moment was a little bit did you check it out in the i for i forgot to okay 
but I'm still scarred by that, and I don't like when that happens in a game, because mm. now I'm gonna be like, uh, in these moments where you might not have, you don't have time, but you think you have time, you know? No, just of all people, why'd they choose me? Don't let your nerves get to you again. You'll get to fight for your country before your peers. That's an honor and a privilege. You don't have to worry anyway. One look at it, and you'll know this war is ours. At what exactly? I can't say too much out here, but we have a secret weapon. Our own key to victory. Whoa. You'll see it in the armory soon enough. <laughs> but we're just students. Why do we have access to something so secret? Because we've been chosen as pilot cadets for that very weapon. But keep it quiet. Maximum level security. Not even your family can know. If Mecca were unveiled to be a deciding factor in World War II, boy, this planet would be a different planet. And I would be a very different person. <laughs> I might not be a person. I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, that's that's a wild thought. Understood. It's like I don't, as much as you want to fan out over them, but what if they were the problem? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's consider the new weapon. Isn't, isn't there a show where, like, America is, like... It's like, what if the Axis won? And, like, it's, like, half communist and half... There's a uh, movie where Nazis come back from the dark side of the moon. There's uh, a game uh, where the Nazis won the war. And then there was a cancelled show by the failed creator uh, writers of... Game of Thrones that was going to be about what if the Civil War went the other way. Oh, okay. But I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, I would have to look it up, but I think it's like one story where the Axis wins and America is like basically like Germany, West and East. Yeah, that, well, that's, that sounds exactly like Wolfenstein. Okay. Wolfenstein, New Order, the, the game. There's a show. That's okay. Like that, yeah. Is, is, yeah, it's 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 a premise that's, uh, you know, not often used, but it has been used. A secret weapon powerful enough to win the war. And out of all the potential pilots across Japan, they chose me. What can I do? Will I be any help at all? Yeah, in the future, like... I'm just piecing together that, like... It... The person and knowledge that he has... It it, it, it kind of it pretty much had to be the past, that first scene, because like him not knowing anything about who he is or was or any of that stuff, um, and 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 uh, also having a relationship with her, right? And then now they're in the same school in '85. We don't know if they have a relationship or not, but they don't seem to. And he's wandering around mindless at that point. Yeah. Um. And everything we know of her hanging out with BJ, like, it doesn't seem practical that they would then turn into the people we saw. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it seems much more reasonable to assume it's the, the they, they time jumped from that past into our, from that present, from that future into our past. <laughs> Sorry. Don't say, do you get it? Because I'm like, because uh, that past, that future, that, that opening and, scene yeah. was likely where we see him wandering, being all fucked up. No, no. What we just saw, 20, 2187 mm -hmm. is the origin story for those two characters, is what I'm saying. Okay. That's, that's, that's my pull. What about... So what is this new weapon? Where did the Kitaro Mira that was all messed up, that got touched by Kurabe, yeah. where did he come from? He, did he come from this era? Yes. Yeah. And then he got fucked up because he of the neuron. Was, exactly. So he went from 2187 to 1944 for some reason. Maybe it has to do with the fact that he likes this era. I don't know. But he just said he likes that era. Yeah. 
now he's in that era. Goto's involved. There's the whole plan. He's a set. Pi he's the pilot of the Sentinels, right? And then we know that, like that whole plan in the '40s ends with um, our boy over here moving to the future. Mm -hmm. They all move to the future. Yeah. When he gets to the future, his mind's all fucked up. Mura, that is. And he's wandering around, and then he sets yeah. off the trigger. His mind's all fucked up because of Okabe. Uh, Okino, sorry. Yes. Okino. Okino fucks him up with the trigger, sends him to the future, or he go whatever the case is. Then 85 is where he sets off the whole of the series of events where uh, our, our boy meets him downtown and, and, and blows up the, the gas station. Um, Do you think or, he's or on the, the, pills the video right now? Uh, memory pills? Yeah. yeah, for sure. He doesn't know about his 2187 past. Right. Okay. All right. Right. But again, it I, is. I like this line. Okay. Pills is not the only way. There's also brain overload. Yes. Theoretically, if they elaborate on that mm -hmm. a bit more. We've been calling it a Sentinel. A heavily armored craft that requires a pilot to operate. It'll help us gun down the enemy at our shores. So the Americans really are coming for us. The Americans. We've been forced to abandon many of our posts overseas. At this rate, we'll have to end this on the mainland. Our homeland's future is in the hands of this sentinel. <laughs> Kettle. Text, text log, please. <laughs> so, uh, so, what? <laughs> hmm? I mean... You know, <laughs> like, that's one way to phrase it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. <sighs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know, I mean, they, they're, they, uh, do you have any, is there anything in between these? Anything you want to put in before <laughs> that line that might have, you know, maybe? No. <laughs> Feels like there should be a little little insert right there. Something happened in something, 41. So, something or... happened. I don't I don't uh... But they're good hands. A single sentinel rivals aircraft carriers in terms of power. But who knows what the kids are being told, right? No. It could outmatch an entire military on its own. Whatever they've got will keep our homeland safe. And one day We'll take the fight to American soil. Huh. I didn't think anyone else would come here. I'll see who it is. Gosh. This is Goto. Oh! Tamao Kurabe. Tamao san. So, this is where you've been hiding. The girl that Takatoshi san. She was getting pilled up. Yep. Goodness. Look at you. Such a gentleman now. Hey, Tamal san. What brings you here? I had to see Keitaro san off. And when I heard you were back too, I had to come. A secret weapon and they what can I I wanted to give you this. I made some ohagi for you. Ohagi? Maybe you and Takatoshi-san can share them. Well, I am partial to ohagi. The rations don't give us that much sugar. I'm afraid they won't be very sweet. Mm, it's a sort of I'm mochi. Sure be delicious. Mm. Thank you. Mochi's good. When it's done right. Doughy. I, oh, you've had bad mochi? Uh, you know the store-bought ones? It's the only kind I really know. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, I always find it to be eh. But uh, at the Japanese festival, sometimes they have mochi-making uh, uh, parties. Okay, okay. Yeah. Excuse me? Is this a friend of yours? Yes, I invited her along. Pardon me, but... Have we met? Oh, that's Kiriko-chan. She came to us from Tokyo. Uh -huh. Kiriko Doji. Mm -hmm. You really don't have to introduce me. But he's asking about you, Kiriko-chan. Keep staring in the window. I'm 
Kiriko Doji, sirs. Uh, I'm. Yo, he's. Uh, he's losing it. Uh, I'm. Uh, Takatoshi Hijiyama. Takatoshi Hijiyama, this. Pleased to meet you. Yes. 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 Heavy bow. <laughs> Take my neck bow. Any relation to Professor Hazo Doji? <laughs> I'm his daughter. I hope that doesn't bother you. No, far from it. Yeah! Uh, Scratch the back of the head. Would be so, uh... Hazel <laughs> Doji? Is that his name? Professor? Pro Hazel. Professor Hazel Doji. Okay. I've heard about Kiriko san's father. They say he's a remarkable teacher. Though I didn't realize he was a professor. Professor Doji's here? If he's at the armory, that can only mean... That's enough, Keitaro. His involvement with the new weapon is highly confidential. <sighs> I mean... Damn it. <laughs> well, don't worry, we won't tell. You're pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Aren't I? Keitaro-san, do you know where you'll be stationed? He'll be working alongside me. The armory is not too far from here. However, it may be some time until he's back. Tamao-san, you and the Kurabes have been nothing but kind to me. I can only give you my thanks from the bottom of my heart. I'll have to leave my little sister with you, so please take care of her for me. Who the fuck could that be? I can't think of someone. No. Maybe it's just a random immortal. He, am I in my... Uh, uh, shit. Okay. Somewhat, one of the protagonists was talking about a family member they cared about. Maybe it was him making reference in the past. There was, forget about that part. So yeah, it was a line. Someone made reference to a line about... A family member and and maybe i'm just like conflating the two but anyway uh interesting don't you worry about a thing keitaro san i'll take good care of tahiro chan and tell her i won't be gone for long wait hold the up second i get time off i'll come visit chihiro is morimura so is morimura miura's little s what Hold the fucking phone. Lady, where you at? Miss Morimura. And... Chihiro's her first name. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What the fuck? Uh... What, uh, what the fuck? One second. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I got bonked. I got bonked on the head right now. <sighs> I like I, the this is threads the are flying. Well, this is the point where I would go stop trying, just let, <laughs> just it, happen. let it happen. <laughs> but we have to catch them. We have to catch them first. Freak out <laughs> and then be like, and never then mind. let it go. <laughs> And you, you just you have to stop it because that could fly right by, yes. and you'll miss it. Let have, it go. Man. You have to catch it, and then put it back down and say, "All right, as you were." Spark joy, all right. Just let it go. Put that <sighs> shit away. Oh my god. Okay, so his. Okay, at the at bare minimum, his fake past, his real past is the future, <laughs> and his fake past involves. Morimura being his little sister. Which also also, if I may Boy, I fucking this is Oh, you can split the events by character, right? Yes. She is 27, is she not? Didn't we get an age? Ah, uh, we did at some point. Right? We got an age. 
And that age, I remember it being like 27. Right? 31. 31? Okay. All right. Okay, I took a note of that. Apparently. Thank you. Thank you. Good. All right. Chihiro Morimura is 31 years She's old. She's 31 years old. What's 85 minus 31? 54? So that doesn't line up. At all. This is 10 years prior to her existence. Mm-hmm. She could not possibly be in the right time frame. Everybody's time fucking, man. But her time frame... Here mm -hmm. tells us like that as an adult she's fucking around with the organization and moving forward doing whatever right so her existing in this firm form doesn't contradict anything because she could be in this form switching to this form and going into the future according to the organization but her being a little sister in 1944 doesn't make sense. Yes, mm. yes. Yes or yes. There, there's, there's some fuckery Yes happened. or yes. 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 <sighs> hey, Tara, it's almost time. They're expecting us. We'd better get going. I'll be back. Do take care, you two. I am afraid of this mode. <laughs> I promise. This, this mode scares <laughs> me, dude. <gasps> This last 10 minutes has been fucking crazy. <laughs> 45, clear skies. I'm off this afternoon until 8 o'clock tomorrow. I am sweating. Later on in 1944. What was that just now? Some kind of flash. Ah. Oh, he just got he the saw, woman. He saw somebody. It came from around here, I think. And then Natsuno is in the corner? Is that when she was in the corner? Tokisaka Shrine. <laughs> Shit. Maybe I saw a visiting god. Stop, 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 please. <laughs> Not likely. So much Come on, don't fucking just take control away from me. It's already I took night. a step forward. If Chihiro's probably worried about me. If it's okay, there's gonna be something, Fuck. and you're gonna get a second chance. If it's a good game, right? Damn it, Reggie! Why'd you have to fucking point? <laughs> like, uh, if I don't get a chance to think, that's gonna bum me out. Please. Yes, there she is. So you got time? Okay, it's a good right, game. Okay, don't okay, worry. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. No, I just. <laughs> I know you were scared. You didn't want to miss anything. I've played games that that. That, that were like fuck you. That are like fuck you. <laughs> and 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 they suck. It's okay. Our new top secret military weapon called a Sentinel. I've been selected as a cadet to pilot it. God. Have you have you ever do you know uh, about um um Until Dawn? Nope, I do not know about okay. that. Okay, it's a really good cinematic, uh, s like, night in the wood, not night in the woods, um, kids in a cabin experience, bunch of college kids hanging out, and like, big scary stuff happens, but it's a game, and it plays like a telltale game, really good game, but it has this fucking problem where there's tons of trigger points for taking steps in the, in the right or wrong direction, and there's also things to discover and like you'll have you'll you'll be in a room with like three points of interest and like two of them are hard locks one of them is an optional and like if you just happen to graze by the wrong one you're locked out of Trigger. progress and you you and it's, e it's commitment mm. you just you're looking around and then commitment happens and you're like fuck you man i was just looking mm. You know, and I get it. It's like a, you don't have control over the movie, but it was so frustrating when it was like it's one room in the middle of a 15 minute sequence. Yeah. And it was like it's just to notice a little extra thing. But I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm like, come on. Like, you're going to rob me of that for looking at the wrong thing first. That shit drives me crazy. And it happened a lot in, in um, a Walking Dead season two as well. You know, like, oh. Uh. Let me, let me, let me just give, give me a chance, you know? Air raids have plagued several regions for months now. 
At this rate, the Americans will completely destroy Japan. We have to do something. Kyuiko-san disappeared after that incident. And Professor Doji has gone silent ever since. It just doesn't make sense. Kiriko and um, Sekigahara are already gone. Wait. A Sekigahara, the white hair kid? Wait, 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 hold on. Or Hijiyama you're talking about. Hijiyama, sorry. No. No, 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 no. no, no. Hey, it was Sekigahara, no, all three of them, right? Yeah, they were chasing. The, the chase involves all three of them jumping, right? Okino jumps first, yeah. then the two of them come later. Sekigahara doesn't really give a fuck about um, Hijiyama being there, but he brings him forward anyway. Right? Yeah. Hijiyama's jumping forward. Sekigahara, uh, sorry, Sekigahara's jumping forward. Hijiyama interrupts him, and then he goes, do whatever you want or whatever. He just jumps, and they both jump forward. Mm -hmm. So the three of them are gone at, at already at this yes. point. So now we're looking at what happens later on when... Um, uh, what's her name is hanging out in secret back there. Natsuno. Yes. State your name. I know you're there. Freeze! Who are you? And his hat's down, so she doesn't even get a chance to have a, a memory moment. You know? Like... Even if there's some kind of locked, forgotten memory, like his face is kind of covered. Yeah. Uh, shouldn't you be wearing pants? Huh? <laughs> Maybe wearing gym clothes wasn't the best idea. I don't know why you're here, but it's dangerous to be out this late on your own. Allow me to escort you home. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. I'm stationed at the armory nearby. But I'm off duty now, so I was on my way home. So, uh, what's your name? And how come your jacket is so cool? <laughs> and, and your shoes, what are they? <laughs> and every other modern thing about you. Natsuno? Um, Natsuno Minami. Which way to your place, Natsuno-san? Oh. Oh, wait, not Good like that. question. Kind of a complicated answer, though. Wait. What's that sound? Aw, oh, shit. Dude, the air raid siren is one of the scariest noises to me mm -hmm. to this day. City-wide hearing of that is like fucking terrifying. Scary. I forgot what it was, but there was something that created a monster that like kind of gave. Oh, it was this guy on Instagram that makes these really cool videos of like, like mecha and, and monsters like on a horizon, and you hear that there's one that like gave off these air raid sirens noises, and it is some fucking terrifying shit. safe at this distance but what about you i have to go help wait hello him. what seriously do i have to Ugh. fine whatever if everything goes wrong it's totally your fault mm -hmm. Her hair was curly too, wasn't it? In the future. Past. Chihiro! 
I wonder if it was just a portrait that was. Might there. have just been the portrait, yeah. yeah. That's a good reason. Fine, but just stay there. It's clear here, but the flames are stronger up ahead. Yeah, You're not what? Going in, are you? I have to. That house up ahead is where my sister. What stayed. could she look like? What age would she possibly be? Younger than him. Oh my God. This can't be happening. It's completely gone. It must have been a direct hit. Chihiro! Tomorrow, son! This belongs to Chihiro. Mm. Chihiro! Oh no, not Daisy. Tomorrow, son! But! <laughs> but! Hmm. <laughs> Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard, but she did it. It's pieced together with scraps of cloth, not the best quality. Even still, Chihiro took it with her wherever she went. How real is this game gonna get about the war? I'm really curious. You know? You can dial it up or dial it down a couple different ways. Big brother! Chihiro! You're safe. Where's Tamao-san? Right here. Kitaro-san! Tamao-san! Yeah, that's... That's probably her? Yep. It's all gone. I know, but you're alive, and that's what matters. We ran to the shelters as soon as we heard the sirens, but Chihiro-chan ran off alone. She said she was going back to the house. Because you were coming home, and if nobody was there to see you, you'd be really sad. Oh god, this is not for the rabbit. Nanako? Is that Nanako? That might be Nanako. That might totally be Nanako. It sounds a lot like it's Nanako. Mm. Oh man, best girl. Chihiro. Mm. Mm. Nanako? Persona 3. Uh, 4. Uh. Oh shit, a high quad. Darn Americans. How and why would this be happening in the 40s? Stop. Why would that be there in the 40s? The I, Sentinels, we know they fucking warp. The Kaede River is on fire. Looks like it's headed toward Kamazumi. We next. know that the Sentinels are showing up in time based on when the people are. Why the fuck would Kaiju? Well, they are developing the Sentinels right now, right? But I don't know why there are Kaiju yeah. appearing, where yeah, they came from. That's wild. Okay. Big Brother! Why are they showing up in this era? Why are they showing up in this era? Yeah, that is the question. heard the U.S. had an industrial advantage over us. That thing has to be one of their weapons. They finally come for our homeland. Nah, dude, they're working on something else. Stop them. Defeat the American kaiju. <laughs> yeah, that's not quite, not quite. Oh, close, almost, almost. Um, but, uh, yeah. Not any less bad. <laughs> Maybe better. 
might be even a step above maybe. <sighs> Who's to say? Fuck. Time? History? <sighs> Tamao-san, please take care of Chihiro. Big brother! Stay with her and do as you're told. Understand? And whatever you do, stay away from latex. <laughs> <laughs> You're allergic, trust me. Stay away from it, goddammit! <laughs> Can I ask you to look after Natsuno-san, too? What about you? I'm going back to the armory. You stay with Tamao-san. She'll keep you safe. Now go. I'll show them that Japan can still fight. This is the day I've been training for. Against the Sentinel, they don't stand a chance. Ah, uh, that's why he activated. You hear all that? Follow him. <laughs> I know. I'm on it. Hey, lady, where's your pants? <laughs> They're not even talking to her like, ugh. What's that clapping noise? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, where do you want to go now? Jesus, what a head fuck. Uh, that's, that's his prologue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, let's just. <laughs> I'm so confused. Let's do the thing. <gasps> oh man. Whew. All right. No points. Some files. Right, chosen as cadets. Fuck you, this chronological order. <laughs> that's number thirty-four. And 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 what are we? What are we? Oh well, yeah, that that's the beginning of his timeline, is it? Okay, yeah, all right, all the right. first event that happens for him, I guess. He chosen to be a pilot from our perspective. From our perspective. Then, mysterious motives. This is a year later. He's in 1944 for a while. Or at least a year. A very important one. All of that shit goes down. Mm -hmm. Oh, that you know what? Raid is you know later. what? The scene must have started middle of the year. Yeah, they said it was six months later. Six months later, yeah. So it must have been later. Um, in the it must have been like mid 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 to late year. This day was in October. Right. Okay. And we, the next one was forty five. So we're back in yeah exactly. So we hit we hit the new year right. Uh, uh, this point the air raid, mm -hmm. or I guess boy meets girl as well. This is all the well. This is all one after the other. Yeah. Right. So this is in May. New American weapon, and then yeah. And then he gets touched, or he does the touching. Mira. Or he gets touched. Yeah, you're right. He's walking in with a headache. And then he, yes, yes, he, he gets touched. Correct. And then, uh... So I guess the actual, uh... Okino thing is not here yet. Alright. Uh... I mean, um, there's a lot going on. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to him, actually. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, let's follow through. Okay. 19. <laughs> May 1985. God yes. damn it. May 1985. No matter where I am, at least the sunset is always the same. Yeah, those 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 screens go by a little quickly. I need to keep the uh, the auto progression off for those. May nineteen eighty five. Um, and there's our idle animation. Fucking gorgeous game. It's wonderful. Even the look at the the, the clouds. 
it's like painted but moving staring like, at this oh my idle God. animation keeps going fuck the flowers vanilla wear the lights flashing on the building george Beautiful. kamitami the little train in the background gives me room to hang around and think for a bit yeah yeah i like that better take advantage of that I like that. Shikishima. Nothing's changed today either. Our mother's terrible at sewing, but she made this for Chihiro. I'd never seen her struggle with anything so hard. I guess it's green because we're going to present it to someone at some point. Pieced together with scraps of cloth. Not the best quality. I bet he's going to go and still. see uh Chihiro took it with her wherever Mori she went. Moron, be like, "Hey, it's a rabbit." And then she's gonna be like, "Bah!" Because <laughs> she's administering memory loss shit, but there's mm. no reason to think that she doesn't have it herself. Oh shit! That's that's a that's a possibility. They came ashore during the air raid. They're enormous. Must be over thirty meters tall. Instead of wheels, they move on long leg like appendages. Quite a terrifying sight. Like something out of hell. Like anyone who jumped in time is a possibility. You know? Mm. And she jumped at least 10 years. 20, if you consider her birth. If we looked at, if, like, that kid was what? Probably like 7 or 10? Like Oldest that. 10. Yeah. Oldest 10. That's pushing it even, yeah. She's a decade forward in time. And then her birth point would be, you know, yeah, like, yeah, whatever. Her, she would have to be born in the 50s for her for her to be 31. a correct aged teacher at 85. Assuming no time fuckery. In, in 85, yeah. yes, exactly. It hasn't gone anywhere. It's still there. Hiding behind all those elaborate curtains. That's Sentinel. It's what brought me here. That building he was looking at, huh? Chikishima. Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? That thing is beyond me. I'm no expert. But I know it's capable of some extraordinary feats. Time travel, though. Could the Sentinel possess an ability like that? Before the war, my uncle gave me a sci-fi novel. A story about traveling through time to the future. Okay. We don't know when he got to 1944. But what's clear is he has a past in his brain as well as a family. Mm-hmm. You know, like he was there long enough to have memories like the one we're reading right now before the war. Yeah. So whatever point he arrived at, there is either a fictional past that he has fictional memories or he has real memories. And we just don't know what the fuck 2187 was about. Mm. It only ever felt like a far off fantasy. But on that day. At that moment, that fantasy became a reality. Forget it. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally just talking my thoughts out loud in this LP, I realize. I'm just, whenever something crosses my mind, I'm just like, this is how I contextualize information. That's 45, good. burning grounds. That's a fucking... That's a uh, type two. Outputs drop by fifty percent in both electromagnetic battering rams. Wow. There are just too many of them. But I'm not about to just sit here and die. I still have two minutes before I hit my operating limit. You're gonna fight until your brain I'm can't remember anything. That's right. Or... What the hell? 
And he already has this car. Or he won't even get the chance to. Operating limit. You know, every time a Sentinel has shown up in 85, we've not discussed the reaction of the world at large. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> we've conveniently cut away from the giant robot that just teleported into Times Square every time it's gone down. Where am I? The air raid. Everything was just on fire. All these giant towers with glass windows. What the hell's going on? The last thing I remember is being surrounded by those new American weapons and... Oh, it can't be. <laughs> oh my god. America took over. Oh everything. shit. Oh no. <laughs> uh, do you think? I wonder if in Japanese their voices are like speaking in a way that reflects the age they come from. Because oh, you know how yeah. like Japanese can convey eras. With the la with like the way they speak, yeah, you can be like, oh, you're from this play point or that point in time. Like, I wonder if they actually do that. You know, that'd be curious because, like, that's another sort of like, Japanese has these language context clues that you can't really yeah. do in English because, for us, it's basically like, you got to go back to sixteen hundred thousand Bible speak. By, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But them, they said, what it, what in the forties and shit. You're like, okay, dude, relax. What it, what it, what. I've heard about major U.S. cities. These high-rise buildings are common. Was I captured? And they got my Sentinel too? They must have done it when I lost consciousness. Brought me to the mainland as their... No, wait. If the Sentinel just reached its operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. Huh. If the Sentinel just reached this operating limit, then not very much time could have passed. We don't, we don't know, we don't know, we don't, yeah, we just, we don't know. <laughs> we, this view says otherwise. It's not my homeland. Somehow I ended up on US soil. If that's the case, fine. I guess this is where I'll die. Like, you're anticipating that the Sentinel re reaching its operating limit would cause some sort of jump to occur. Or not. One second. Or it couldn't have gone far enough type of thing? Like, does he even know that time travel is a possibility being inside of this thing? I don't think he does. Yeah. Why were the Sentinel? Why were just the Sentinel and I brought here? Yeah, he has no idea. Time travel. He's though. wondering. He has. He, he. Yeah. He knows it's a robot. He doesn't know anything else about it. But I'm not going down without a fight. I'll face the enemy even without my Sentinel. The Sentinel. This is bad. You think? The Sentinels are top secret. It can't fall into enemy hands. Man. Like, the context of fighting the war years later is... Uh, that, that shit's just... That's such a fucking crazy interesting yeah. thing to me. You know, that... that Everything that one, is set already. That one dude that held out on the island. 
Yeah. Right after the war for, till the 70s? Yeah, yeah, I remember that till story. Till the 70s. And people came, uh, yo, the war is over. And he's like, bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The enemy cannot get their hands on the Sentinel. That's the kind of issue that becomes a national crisis. But what can I do? I can't activate now, let alone initiate self-destruct. I need to slow down and think things over. I should probably go lie low until the Sentinel recovers. But not because I'm afraid. My country. My little sister. Unless the men in black have been showing up and hiding these occurrences, and somehow keeping the population in the dark about the appearance of mm. giant fucking time traveling robots. I'd give my life for them at the drop of a hat. But I have to be smart right now. And that means waiting for the Sentinel to be up and running. I guess Tommy D. Jones working overtime tonight. Mm hmm. This, 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 now that this. I have a plan, I better move fast. I should get out of here before American soldiers show up. I'll stay out of sight until it's the right time to move. Well, yeah, here we go. I was about to say. Oh, Everyone he looks good though. He's not Japanese. like he's, he's not, not all fucked up yeah. and wondering what happened yet. But something's off. These signs show both kanji and the English alphabet. <laughs> Ashitaba Printing, Ashitaba Bank. Why are they named after my hometown? Piecing it all together. You want to stop by the arcade? Sure. The one at Sun Mall? Nah, the one at Joyland. Let's go try out those big new Sega machines that came wow. in. Wow. I have no idea what they're talking about. But their language doesn't sound foreign to me. Was Sega making arcade machines in '85? I believe <laughs> so. Did you see him hmm. in last night's episode? Yeah. Oh, he's so amazing. Fuck it. Fact check that shit. I'm going to go <laughs> through my own documents, actually. Let. Oh. What documents? Why would that be? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I had this info in the Jet Set Radio information that I had when we're talking about the Sega division where, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So from the mid 80s, Sega had many development divisions, the Mark III, Sega Master Kibai 85, and before that, it was mechanical arcade games uh. made in the mid 60s and arcade games in the 70s Look and at 80s that. accurate yep cool good job good thing i uh, you kept those notes i, I, I got all that <laughs> right i watch everything he's in female students though that's quite a bit of exposed leg <laughs> Mm -hmm. It almost seems like a different dialect, but it's definitely Japanese. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, definitely well, there, different language. There's yeah. our clue. Uh -huh. He's probably speaking old school. So many cars. Where in the world am I? You even got the parallax this going on the America. on the crosswalk. It looks like Japan, but everything seems off. This is all just a terrible dream. No, son, it's modernity. <laughs> right, right. It's nothing to worry about. Just my brain acting up. That's why my surroundings appear to be different. Oh God, he's tripping out. Look at his eyes. We knew what the risks were going in as Sentinel pilots. Professor Doji made it all very clear to us. That's right. This has happened before. I experienced a similar illusion during the sensitive test. And the boys. Yeah. He's wearing a boy's school uniform, but appears to have a girl's haircut. Oh. <laughs> huh? The hell are you looking at? 
This one has a particularly strange hairstyle. Hey, you trying to get your ass kicked? Yo. It looks like I've finally gone crazy. Do you want to see crazy? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's get crazy. You want to get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Come on. Oh, he Where knocked him I? out? And Shu dragged him over? What is this room? Oh, hold on. Oh my I God. Think I remember. This is the worst room someone from the 40s can wake up in. Just overwhelmed with future. What Some is everything? <laughs> this doesn't look like a detention facility. Why is the ceiling on fire? <laughs> still seeing things. Okay, they're not. It's not that. It's the 40s, dude. It's not <laughs> like. C come on. Come on. Hey, they had old oil lamps, and that's cool. Yes, but I like the concept of a light source is not <laughs> lost on someone from the 40s. Jesus Christ. <laughs> or someone removed me from the Sentinel. Whoever it was brought me to some kind of lab. <laughs> what is this magical wall space that I can walk through? What is this barrier in between this room and the other room? <gasps> Foreign phonograph records. Takatoshi-san used to let me listen to his. Why are there so many records here? There are way more than I saw at the Hijiyamas. It's a calendar. What does it say? 1985? It's all in my head. It's just an illusion. A box-shaped Technicolor projection device. <laughs> the Sentinel has its own spatial projector as well. But that's highly confidential military technology. Uh, Is it the idols that breaks him? Baseball. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not in a military base, am I? Oh. Just, he stares at I a fucking be, idol dance show and just goes, so ah! <laughs> Brain melts. Ah! And starts bleeding at the ears. <laughs> Hatsune Miku, what? <laughs> Modern Japanese. Lots of textbooks lined up here. Japanese history. Uh -oh. uh oh. So I really am still in Japan then. Read a book. This can't be right. 1945, the year of Japan's unconditional surrender. Surrender? We lost the war? 1945, that's this year. August 6th, atomic bomb dropped on yep. Hiroshima. And three days later, 40,000 killed. Nagasaki. Three days later, second bomb dropped on Nagasaki. 70,000 killed. All from just two new American bombs. What is this book? Well, that answers my question. 1951, U.S.-Japan Security Treaty signed. 1964, Tokyo Olympics? How far does this go? Wait. What did that calendar say? 1985. But what about our German partners? Uh, don't worry about that. And what about the Italian front? Hey, you want some spaghetti? They've been working on it. It's really good now, in 1985. Ugh. 1985. It, it has to be fake. When was this printed? It says here... 1985. Wow, that's a bad Could calendar. It really be? Wouldn't you want your calendar to be printed before the, the year? year? <laughs> this is a bad business model. <laughs> it's so cold. That's all that was in the fridge. <clears throat> wow. Not a big fan of soda, I take it? Some kind of carbonated beverage? I had ramen once at a festival in Tsutsuji. Wow. But I was just a kid. Again with the childhood memories. Mm. 1985. 
Am I still in Japan? But in the future? Who are you? I'm Shu Amiguchi. And we're at my apartment in Kamazumi. Keitaro Miura. So, how did I get here? I called a taxi and brought you over after you got knocked out. So you... helped me? Guilty. You know, you really pushed Ogata over the edge. You got rocked. He was already pissed from being chewed out. If he gets in trouble one more time, he's getting suspended. Be real nice if you two could work things out peacefully. Looks like the old generation got a glass jaw. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have the sweet science. <laughs> Did not have... <laughs> How to turn that ankle and the hips? Then no, uh, put it in the mm. put it in the put it back into it. Put it in the hips. <laughs> I need to know one thing. What year is it? Uh, what? Afraid you had knocked into a coma for the last few years? Relax, you didn't get hit. That Dude, answer the fucking question. It's still 1985. Oh God! Right? You haven't missed a day. Oh no. Mm-hmm. Woof. Yeah. Span 40 years later. And, and you know, I mean, real talk, you're talking about, like, uh, yeah, before August, you're talking about the height of confidence. Things are looking good. The height of, uh, yeah. you know, we're going to get this done. Boy, oh boy. Uh, okay. He had a childhood within the past. Yeah, so he sees the American weapons. Gets out, drops the robot off. And if we never address this again, that's going to be another one of those, like, what happened to the fucking robot that blew up the park? Oh. Um. Struck by a bag. Oh, it was a bag, was it? Yeah. And then he learns about the truth. Um, so his warp was probably set in motion by Okino. Since the trigger would... <laughs> The trigger was put in his brain to cause sentinels to appear for everyone who he meets that can call one, right? Therefore, what's the point of making that without giving him an opportunity to spread that disease? Mm. Yeah, okay. Right? So, you know, you got, like, if it was just, it was like, put the disease in. But then step two is you gotta send him out somewhere. Yeah. It's not enough. It's not good enough to, to get rid of all his masks. Pew! Teleport. You gotta send him out to the beach and to every restaurant in town and every rally you can hit up. Okay. All right. Um. No points. Do we have? Yes, we do. We've got the riverbed. We've got. The right, okay. The new stuff in blue. Okay. Yes, the riverbed. We got the colony <laughs> in twenty one eighty seven. Yeah. Don't think about it. Just, just. That's a thing. Hey, you know what's important information? You know what the first thing I wonder is when I'm looking at the colony in satellite orbit in twenty one eighty seven. What the diameter of this completed colony would be? That's an important information. You to know, remember, it's the you know? first thing I'm wondering when mm -hmm. I see that. Like, yeah. what? 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 How? What size is that bitch right yeah. there? What, how, how many? How, how many tatamis? How big is? How many tatamis huh? is that bitch? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> gotta be at least three or four, right? Can I invite two people in? <laughs> we good? First Comfy? piece. First thing I'm wondering. Uh, yep. Yes, yep. flames in the major war. Due to the kaijus. Yep. 
Planes. Not due to the planes. And that's where. I've but the planes flew over. We saw the planes fly over. Yep. We did see the planes fly over. Mm -hmm. It's just when we got there, there was kaiju there too. Just so happened. Uh, uh, timing. Okay. Timing something else. And those the are the facts. Riverbed. Oh. Itaro Miura. And we got. Yeah, we go. He hides his forehead scar with a hat. And we see his childhood friends, Takatoshi and Tama Kurabe. No one knows his country more than he does. Did he have the scar in space? I did not notice. I didn't notice either. But that Shit. is really he might have been important. Clean. Was he clean? I don't know. I think he was clean. We have to verify. Oh my god. There's no other way to check. That's a big deal. I think he might have been clean. That's a very big deal. His hair was tucked back? Yes, well, here's- He was clean. He was, right? Because his hair was tucked back, and it was a completely different hairstyle. And uh, he was comfortable and confident showing off his forehead. Yeah. Yep. Now he's ashamed. Oh my god. Okay. Motherfucker. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Nail that shit to the wall. <laughs> Tie the fucking twine around that piece of wool and <laughs> stretch, stretch it. it. <laughs> we ran out of string. 2187 is way too far down the corkboard. We don't have enough string to get to connect it. And Prime Day just passed. Oh, Gonna fuck. wait to get more string. <laughs> Shit. 